we're going to talk about 10 ways that you can have the best, most fun, and safest Mardi Gras this year. Let's get into it. Tip number two, pack an ice chest. We all have our creature comforts that we want. And when you get all the way out to the parade route and find your spot and are ready to watch, the last thing that you want is to not have everything that you want. So pack an ice chest, bring your drinks, bring snacks, bring sunscreen, bring sandy wipes, bring anything that you might need. Bring it in the ice chest. Better yet, get an ice chest backpack. Way easier to carry and they have little pockets on the side. They're gonna hold everything you need. Tip number three, there's more to catch at Mardi Gras than just beads. You gotta go out to the parades and look for more than just beads. There are all kinds of things that you can catch. They're throwing things that are free. All they throw is free stuff. They've got hats, drink koozies, sunglasses. You've got toys, you've got blankets. You've got all kinds of things. They throw little packs of glitter. They throw playing cards. And the parades all have signature throws. They're hand decorated and they match the theme of the parade. You gotta go out looking for more than just beats. Tip number four, make friends along the way. Everybody is at the Mardi Gras to have a good time. And you're gonna bump into so many people while you're out there walking from one place to the next, while you're finding a spot to post up and watch the parade. You've got neighbors on your left and neighbors on your right. Of course you wanna be safe, but like I said, everyone is there to have a good time. Reach out, make friends, talk to somebody, grab a throw, give it to them if you don't want it. Everyone's there to have a good time. Make some friends. Tip number five, don't forget the food. And it's not just king cake, y'all. There is so much food out there. New Orleans has some of the best food in the world, but during Mardi Gras, there's even more. There's vendors that only come out this time of year and they post up all along the parade route. So make sure to stop by, check out what they have to offer. But it's gonna be a long day. Don't forget to bring some snacks in that cooler. Tip number six, creative costumes encouraged. This is the time to get colorful, creative, and crazy with your costumes. Bust out the wigs, glitter, tutus, all of it. Just make sure to check the weather first. Depending on what type of mood your Mardi Gras is in, temperatures range from blazing hot to freezing cold. Tip number seven, leave pets at home. We all love our furry friends, but Mardi Gras can be more traumatic than it is fun for them. There's all kinds of people and commotion out in the streets, all kinds of noise from the bands. Honestly, they would rather just be at home instead of wondering how they can get away from it all. And it's one less thing for you to worry about for peace of mind so you can just go out there and have fun and not worry about keeping an eye on your pet and making sure that it's safe. Tip number one. Don't walk in front of the bands. One of the best things about Mardi Gras parades are the marching bands. It's so easy to get excited when they come marching down the street, drums banging, playing their cadence, horns blasting harmonies in the air. It's amazing. We all love it, but they need space to march. So when you hear them coming, this is the time to back up and give them room. Half the time they stop right in front of you and keep playing anyway. But they gotta keep marching and this probably isn't the only parade that they're marching in this Mardi Gras. So get out of their way and enjoy the music. Tip number eight, safety first, stay back from the floats, okay? Marching bands are not the only thing that you need to make way for. The floats are big and they are moving. You gotta not get too close up on them. Definitely don't try to cross between two floats or between a float and the tractor that's pulling it. And if you are gonna cross the parade route between two separate floats, make sure you have enough room and you know where you're going across the route. Tip number nine, don't pee in public. Find a porta potty. Inevitably out on the parade route, you're going to need to use the restroom. Don't get lazy. Don't think that you can get away with it. Do not pee in public. That is the number one reason why people get arrested during Mardi Gras, and if that happens to you, you're gonna be in the tank and they are not gonna let you out until after Mardi Gras is over. They don't even wanna deal with it, so don't let that happen to you. Find a restroom. If there's a line, wait in the line. If you have to pay, pay, but don't pee in public. And our last tip, tip number 10, have fun. There are literally so many different ways that you can enjoy Mardi Gras. You can do something new and different every day. So go out there, be prepared, have fun, look for the Mardi Gras magic, and enjoy your carnival.